Hey folks, uh, normal distribution. I think I'm going to do this in two parts. Uh, I can cram it all in one, but I don't know. I think it'd be better to do it in two. So let's see. So um, uh, module 21.2 uh, in our IM3 book. So how do we find the percents of data probabilities of events associated that have normal distributions? Okay. So normal distributions, you guys, properties of a normal distribution, okay? So um, this is a, a lowercase uh, Greek letter called sigma, and it's, uh, we use that to represent our standard deviation, okay? Now, this little X bar right here is our sample mean, okay? So it's, uh, we'll talk more about that. So a normal curve has the following properties, okay? So about 68, if it's normal, okay, these are when it's normal, about 68% of the data fall within one standard deviation with the mean. So if this is the mean and we subtract one standard deviation and we add one standard deviation, then about 68% of the data is within the mean right there. Okay, and then 95% uh, of the data it falls within two standard deviations. So if we subtract one standard deviation, two standard deviations. So can you see this says X bar, which is the mean minus two standard deviations. This one says X bar plus two standard deviations. So it's the mean plus one plus two standard deviations. That's 99.7% of the data. I'm sorry, 95% of the data. I'm thinking ahead. Three standard deviations is 99.7% of the data. So almost the entire population falls within three standard deviations of the mean. Now there are exceptions over here. There are very tall people or very not so tall people if we're talking about heights or if we're talking about um, you know money in the neighborhood. Um, it would probably fall in a standard normal curve and then you have you know like Bill Gates is he's off the chart way over here. So he's 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 pretty much zero percent of the people right there so because he's nobody can compare to him so anyway um, so but we're going to be dealing with the standard normal curve okay so it goes like this it goes um, 68 percent is one standard deviation 95 percent is two standard deviations 99.7 is three standard deviations so sometimes they call it the empirical rule sometimes they just call it the 68 95 99.7 rule Okay, so either the empirical rule or the 68, 99.7 rule for the normal curve. Okay, so 68, 95, 99.7. All right, so uh, the symmetry of the normal curves allows us to separate uh, the area under the curve into eight parts uh, and know what percent of the data is contained in each part right there. Okay, so if 68% of the data is within uh, one standard deviation right there, and if it's symmetrical, then that means this side equals this side. So this must be half of 68, and this must be half of 68, so each little piece is 34% of the data. Okay, and then remember, within two standard deviations is 95% of the data. Well, if this is 95% of the data, and this right here is 68% of the data, can I convince you that this is these two little end pieces are the rest of the 95%? So 95 minus 68 gives us these two guys add up to 27%. So that means this is half of 27, and this is half of 27, which is 13.5%. Okay, now let's do the same little trick for 99.7. Okay, so if this is 99.7% of the data and 95% of the data is from here to here, um, uh, then that means if I subtract them, then these little tail pieces right here is 4.7. So um, it's 99.7 it's minus 95. And if we take half of 4.7, that's 2.35. So that's what those guys are. Now, since 99.7% of the data goes from here to here, then these guys are the rest of the data, which is 0.3%. So this little tail end right here and this little tail end is 0.3%, which is 0 0.003 as a decimal. So 0.3% would mean this is half of that. So what's half of 30? Well, that's 15. So this is going to be 0.15, and this is going to be also 0.15 over there, okay? All right, percent, percent. Okay, so um, now uh, our textbook, um, uh, this this is sample mean, and so we're usually dealing with the sample mean right here. 
but if you see this, this is the Greek letter mu, and it's kind of like an M. It's kind of sort of a weird sort of cursive Esau kind of M. It's the Greek letter mu. Um, and the Greek letter mu is that that always represents the mean of the population. Just treat these the exact same, you guys. So, so you might see this graph right here with the, the X bar, or you might see it with the the population mean which is the mu right here okay and notice they're the exact same okay so it's a standard normal curve okay so don't get confused if you don't see x bar but you see mu okay this is just they're both means this is the mean of a sample this is the mean of the population and then we just go ahead and use that information okay let's try this so suppose the heights and in inches of men ages 20 to 29 years old in the United States are normally distributed with a mean of 69.3 inches and a standard deviation of 2.9 inches. Find each. All right, let's first do this, you guys. Okay, there's my mean of 69.3 inches. Okay, now since it's a standard deviation of 2.92, then if I go minus 2.92, that'd be one standard deviation. Minus 2.92, again, that would be two standard deviations. Minus 2.92, again, and then on this side, we're going to go plus 2.92, plus 2.92, plus 2.92, and that gives us all of those numbers, okay? All right, and then let's put in our 34% goes right here, and then this is 13.5%, and this is 2.35, 2.35, and this is 0.15%, okay? All of those, yes, uh, I know what you're going to ask. Should we know those? Yeah, it's not that hard, you guys. Just remember 68, 95, 99.7, and then you can, um, if this is 68% of the data, then 34, 34. And 95% of the data is from here to here. So if we take out the 68, then we get 27% uh, that's going to take up these two guys. So half of that and so on. Okay. All right. So find uh, the percent of men who are between 63.46 inches and 75.14 inches. Okay. Now the reason why I had us do this right here with these numbers is, look, here's 63.46. Here's 75.14. That's within one, two standard deviations from the mean. Okay, so there it is right there. And two standard deviations of the mean is going to be about 75% of the data. So um, uh, that represents about 75% of the men right there. Okay, how about this one? Okay, the percent of men who are taller than 72.22 inches. Okay, look, here's 72.22 inches right here. So Who's taller? All of these people. So we're going to add this plus this plus this, and that's going to give us that percentage right there, and we get about 16%. All right, that's a good stopping point right there, and you're going to be doing that for your assignment. Take care.